Hitting the weights is a great way to boost your metabolism. So join us here with a pair of five to 10 pound dumbbells for this lift and lower workout. All right, time to get strong. Lift and lower means we're getting our weight. So you can have anywhere from five to 10 pound dumbbells. We're gonna have a variety up here. We've got Susie and Zalana to show you guys exactly how to get through this workout. So grab your heavier set. If you only have one set of dumbbells, that's okay. All right, grab your heavier set, anywhere from five to 10 pounds, or we're gonna go into a reverse lunge bicep curl combo. So start with your feet together. You're gonna take a nice little step back, drop the knee, come up, give it a little curl, and then switch legs. Drop it back. Come up and curl. Nice and slow, show the control. Not using a lot of momentum here. But you're working those legs and you're getting that upper body to work at the top. Mm -hmm. Make sure to press up through that front heel so you really give that big push through that glute and you're not putting a lot of pressure on the knee. You guys feel good? Yeah. yeah. Baby. I like these combination moves because they really get so many different muscle groups working. It's efficient. That's right. We only got 10 minutes. Bring it down. Good. Curl it up. So the heavier weights are going to get a little bit more exhaustive here. But if you got lighter ones, just keep fighting through it as well. And you're getting a burn no matter what. Last couple. Burners. <laughs> Good and relax, okay? Now we're gonna keep those heavier weights in hand and go into a bent over row. So keep your feet about hip distance apart. You know, they can be pretty tight. Bring your hands in front of your knees. You want a flat back. You're gonna drive those elbows straight back. Squeeze and lengthen it out. Row and press. Good, make sure that you really pull back. Squeeze those shoulder blades together and let it out. Good, nice flat back. These ladies showing it perfectly. Keeping the chest high and the booty back. Bending the knees, you never want to lock out the legs. That's it, you guys feeling the back work or what? Yeah, feeling the scapula slide together. My arms burn during this one too, I'm really working them. Last couple seconds, bring it back. Remember, we're lifting, we're rowing, pulling, pressing and then relax. All right, let's set down the heavier weights. If you have something lighter, grab that, because these next moves, using some smaller muscle groups, okay? So single-legged reverse fly. You're gonna be on one foot, stabilizing on one leg. Bring your hands in front, turn your palms open, okay? Now your back leg's gonna come up a little bit. You still wanna have a flat back. You're gonna pull, squeeze, and lower down. A slight bend in the elbows and then lower down. If you feel like your balance is challenged too much, just drop your back toe and give it a little bit of a balance help there. Otherwise, you're working that stability leg and you're gonna feel that burn through the butt. Ooh, that I balance that. is hard. Woo! This is tough. Good, one more and then we'll switch legs. Woo! Oh my goodness, awesome Woo. job. So you can have a nice slight bend in your elbows too so that you don't strain any of your joints. Go on that single leg, this is my hard side and bring it up, squeeze. Remember, bend forward so that you have gravity. You gotta fight gravity here. Squeeze, lower down. Shh. Exhale as you pull up. Shh. Remember, when you're lifting with weights, you wanna exhale during the exertion part. Woo, lost my balance of the exercise. <laughs> so exhale on the way up. Shh. Last couple. Shh. Feeling it. And relax. Oh, oh baby. You gotta love those moves and they're very controlled, okay? So just work on those and you'll get better. Now, we're gonna come down to the floor. So you only need one weight for this. It's called an external rotation. So you're working your shoulder girdle, lay all the way flat, bend your knees slightly, elbow rests right on your side. You're gonna pull it all the way up, show the palm, and then lower it down slow. Good, open. Lower it down slow, awesome. I can see Z's back looking so good. So rotator cuff, shoulder, nice. And lowering it down, breathe. Exhale on the lift, that's the exertive portion. And then lower, exhale, lift. Awesome, breathe. Working those little muscles in the shoulder, I can feel it. Oh, that's right, and these are the stability muscles. We need these muscles to support our larger muscle groups when we do heavier lifting. 
Good, last two. Lift. I just like to get that full burn. Good, one yeah. more. And then let's switch Ooh. sides. So just flip that body around. Oh, baby. Bring it down. Support yourself here so that your head's supported. Body's pretty straight and let's lift it up. So I'm keeping my elbow in tight to my body here so that I don't use a lot of momentum here from my shoulder. If I pull it up like this, I'm using a lot of shoulder. I'm not using those small muscle groups. So really keep that elbow in tight and pull it up. If you have a lot of control and you can let your elbow gently come off the side and you can still control the movement, then that is gonna give you even a greater development of that shoulder muscle. Ooh, I am feeling Ooh, this one. Feel that one. Wow. Good. My left side is definitely weaker. Doesn't look like much, but it is a killer. Yeah. Good. Last couple. Woo. Last one. Pull it up and let it down. Ooh. Nice job. Now, no weights for this next one. We're going to come right onto the back. All right. You're going to do a roll up and toe touch. The only weight you have here is the weight of your leg. So, our arms come up overhead. We're going to exhale, roll up, bring your hand to your opposite toe. Yeah, and then roll it down <laughs> slow. Hands overhead, roll up, opposite toe. And I want you to pause up there. Really squeeze, and then lower. Exhale, come up, squeeze, and lower. That's it, so that leg is now your resistance. Your lower abdominals got to fire in order to pick that leg up and help that hip flexor. So don't make it just a hip flexor move. Really pull, really try to use those lower abs, pull them in tight. Good Exhale. firing, good yeah. firing. Susie's like, don't worry, <laughs> feel it. Couple more, here we go. Lift, lower, come on, last one. And lower, beautiful. Now, grab your light weights again, okay, because you don't want too heavy on this one. It's a seated single arm chest fly. So you're in a V-sit position, the weights are out in front of you. You're gonna open up one shoulder, but keep your shoulders squared up to the front, bring it back to the middle. And then again, open. This is where it's hard. Ooh, it's yeah. when that weight comes out wide and you're fighting to rotate. You don't yeah. want to rotate. Breathe and exhale. Good. Inhale. Exhale. God, this is great for the core, too. So good for the core. Mm -hmm. My shoulders yeah. and my chest, too, are getting that burn. Got to love it. We're pulling, lifting, lowering. We're using those weights, you guys. Breathe. Last couple. Good. Two. Last one. And relax. All right, now bring it up to the feet. Keep those weights in hand. You could grab heavier here, but I say we just stick with our light ones for now. Lateral lunge for you beginners. Keep the light weights in hand. You're going to step out wide, so the feet come wide. Stick the booty back, go into a lateral lunge. Weights come to the inside and outside of the leg. Press together. Let's go same side. Step out, booty back, good. In, and you're using those arms a little bit. If you have heavier weights, a lot heavier on the legs, a lot heavier on those arms. Woo, baby, good. This is a nice way to just boost, get another lower body and upper body combo move. Let's get one more and then we switch. All right. Yeah, yeah, go ahead and go the other side. Big step out, booty back. I want you to keep that knee in line with that foot. Okay, so notice how my knee isn't going out this way. I'm keeping it in line, booty back. Pressing up through my heel. Boom, good. Nice, lengthen it, lengthen. Good, couple more. Want to be even. Breathe, rest more, one more. Good, and relax. Right. Now we're right here. Keep those weights. We're gonna go tricep extension. Bend those knees. You're like in a biker stance here. All right. Elbows up towards the sky. Extend the arms. Bring it in. Extend the arms. Now this is a classic move, right? But yeah. so effective. So don't forget this one. Put it in your back pocket and use it. There you go. Bam. Work those arms. And really feel the squeeze right there at the top. Make sure you do pause and you hold it for those couple seconds. That is gonna be a big difference. Now we're gonna go into a long arm extension. So long arm, whoa, <laughs> totally different now. Yeah. So isolate the back of the shoulders and more of your lats, more of your back, lift. Exhale, lift, come on. 
You're almost there through this drill. You guys are doing great. Lift, good, up. Couple more, two, you're skiing, and one. Nice. Okay, drop, well, not dropping the weight. Your last couple seconds here is a burpee with your weights, okay? Okay. So, feet are wide, drop it down to the middle of your mat, jump out. Jump back in, feet are flat, curl, press, bring it down, here we go. Down, in, up, press, at your own pace. Don't feel like you have to be right in line with us. You want good form, squat, in, curl, press, roll us out, one more. Out, in, curl, press, and never quit, keep it going, nice. Nice job. <laughs> nice job. Nice job. I can't let the weights go. Don't They're ever. They're stuck to me. Don't ever let it go.